everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you. And we're so glad that you're here and we just pray that you guys are encouraged and blessed in your own walk with the Lord as we share what God is doing in our own hearts and our lives. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's really just our hearts when we come on is to really just share what God's been doing in us with the prayer that you guys are encouraged by it and that it just spurs you on and um strengthened and encouraged yes so we're going to be Sounds just like a christian radio tag strengthened and encouraged yep <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to just kind of be covering uh, this last week or so and um, just what God has been showing us and mm -hmm. uh, diving into that. But as always, before we begin, we want to just say a huge thank you to those who have given and continue to give. And um, mm -hmm. we just, uh, yeah, invite whoever would like to give to us um, if you can. Uh, we have a PayPal link, a Cash App, and a Venmo below. Venmo below. Venmo below. <laughs> <laughs> and you can click any of those and give there um, uh, because we are support based. And so we have needs that come up every single week, as I'm sure you do as well. Um, yeah. And so, <laughs> yes, we just really appreciate if you can give. And so, yep. I think that's mm -hmm. that. So, where should we begin? Well, when last we met the Lavores, what were we talking about? No, we're going to talk about the... We're, our, our video today is going to focus pretty much on one thing. Mm -hmm. And that is the boat vision with the wings. Mm -hmm. So let me recap that, okay? Because it's very important in regards to where we're at and what we're going to share for the rest of the video. Um, let me see. It was a while back, you know... I was stressing out about financial uh, support, as I have tended to do throughout this entire seven-year journey, <laughs> and um, you know, just because we're constantly, f I, 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 I feel like we're constantly like, you know, uh, tossing out water from our boat because it's constantly <laughs> leaking, um, and. But God has kept us afloat this whole time and all that. And and so the Lord showed me a vision. I, I felt like it was a vision of the end, like the end of this time of, you know, support raising and all that. And I don't remember. When was that? It was, it was on, on 10, 10 11. 11. Uh, <laughs> on October 11th, I got this vision. And so I was in this boat. It was kind of like a little three-seated, three-road boat you know kind of like you the kind of boat you take your grandpa grandpa would take you fishing on you know what i'm saying um i had a wide back and a little pointy front end and i was the vision started out with me being in this boat i had no oars and i'm sitting um toward the back kind of it was left or right or something like that and I'm basically in this position where I have literally no control over the boat. It is just going and flowing. But the problem is I was going and flowing toward this waterfall and I knew it, I saw it coming. And there was literally nothing I could do about it. And it really represents those moments in our life with God where you're headed toward something that you know you're headed toward and you have no power on your own. I guess your own power would be your oars. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you had the oars in your boat and you weren't using them, that would be a different word from God for you. You know, you'd be like, get, get your hands on the oars, man. Start rowing, you know, <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> but there were no oars for me, nothing. And I'm just sitting there and it's like either God's going to deliver you in that situation or you're going to go down, you know? And, um, it's the same, I believe, a very similar situation would be, um, hey, Abraham, I want you to bring with you your son, your only son, whom you love, to the mountain I will show you. Yeah, Lord, yeah, okay. We're gonna go, what, are we gonna have a picnic or something? Gonna go have a little, and sacrifice him. What? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For y'all different strokes, uh, memories, what are you talking about, God? You know? <laughs> 
um, you know, different strokes. You know, what you talking about, Willis? Yeah. That was very famous. But anyway, you know, that was him. He's just like, wow. So he knows what's getting ready to happen. Meaning, you see what I'm saying? Abraham has the knowledge of what's coming, but he has no power in it of himself to do anything about it. I mean, he can just disobey, but obviously Abraham to the point, he's not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. He waited all this time for the promise, and now he's like, what, 25 some odd yeah. years into having lived in the promise, what's he gonna do? Just be like, no, I'm gonna do my own will. He's not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. You know, he just, he just, he, 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 there's levels to this game, you know what I'm saying? And he was on a level where he's just like, well, that would, it wasn't even a thought, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and so you, you're, you're in these positions a lot of times where it's like, either God's going to do something or he's not. And Abraham had the faith to just like, hey, listen, God's going to have to be the one that sustains this promise and keeps mm -hmm. it going. Um, because I can't do anything. What am I going to live to be like a thousand years old and make sure all of this stuff happens? It, well, it wasn't on my own power that it took place to begin mm -hmm. with. So what, am I going to sustain it by my own flesh? That was a problem Paul had with the Galatians. He's like, you came to know the Lord through faith and hearing the gospel of Jesus. You didn't come to, uh, to, to in right relationship with the Lord by obeying the law. So why are you going back to obeying the law? Why are you trying to finish in the flesh what began in the spirit? God has done it. You gotta let him do it. So it is with our journey. God has started this. He's gonna finish it. He's gonna continue it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of like what the waterfall represents. I'm going toward this waterfall and I see it coming and there's nothing I can do. And the water, I believe the river uh, represents the flow of finances. And it's just like the flow of finances is just gonna suddenly whoo, cut off, mm -hmm. right? And I could see it coming because I've been talking about in the last couple of videos of how our supporters and our support has just been dwindling and dwindling and dwindling. And um, I mean, we're still here, we're still fed, we're paid up for the week actually, I mean, we're, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> don't want to go into details, but uh, it's, anyway, it's, it, it may be important to the story, it may not be, but, but in the vision, I come to the waterfall, and it's like, here we go, it's like, I'm not upset with God, I'm not mad, I'm not either, I'm just like, here, I'm just going to go along for the ride, you know, for me to live is Christ, to die is gain. So, and so my boat gets to the waterfall, like this is the waterfall, my boat gets to the waterfall and it's, it doesn't tip over or nothing, it just keeps on going. It's like something amazing happened. You know? <laughs> it just keeps on going and then like, for the briefest moment, it's just suspended in the middle of the air and then suddenly these wings pop out from the boat three pair on the front the middle and the back and the boat just keeps going in the same kind of groove it was when it when it was on the on the uh river. the river thank you and it's just like and so i'm standing there in amazement at that point i was standing up and i was like whoa what's going on you know and I knew right in that moment, things were getting ready to go much faster because it was like, whoa, this is awesome. Because I knew with these wings, I didn't have to keep going at this level. You know, this steady little place that we could just, we could just fly, we could go, we could. And um, so we believe that those wings represent the provision of the Lord as well. It's just mm -hmm. a different kind of provision, a different way the Lord's gonna be moving in our life. Okay, so I decided to draw a little illustration. A little picture here, let me show you. You can, there you go. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that. But basically over here is the waterfall and I really feel like the end of March was us coming to the end of the time of like this waterfall cliff. And then in, and then there's our boat and it's basically suspended in the air. And I put April, that doesn't mean like all of April or something like that. It just means like that's when it started. Um, like we're not gonna be suspended like, for all of April. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Um, but, but basically as we came into April, it was like we were coming off of the waterfall. Mm -hmm. And there came a point when it was just like, okay, you're, you're off. 
we're not falling, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it, but we're just kind of suspended. And that's really where we've, for the briefest second, that in the vision that you had, and mm -hmm. can you actually pull it up? Um, I actually have a document that's on there. So in this vision, uh, Devin basically said that for you lost it yeah so mm -hmm. basically we the boat kept going straight as if the waterfall didn't exist it just started to float in the air for just the briefest second suddenly three wings on each side of the boat just flared out of nowhere and the boat just kept soaring forward on these wings so I just we were we actually ended up going over this vision um, for one of our God times and it just really hit me of like I believe that's where we're at um, because coming basically the end of March it was raging roaring waterfalls it was like Lord what are we gonna do like a massive sudden <laughs> drop off yeah of financial support you know yeah. what I'm saying was, but so, but then okay this is the Lord this but, is the work of the Lord yeah you know? but also just like this sense of like Lord it feels like things are just crashing down like we're, we we need to catch up with our payments here we need to you know somehow figure things out what's going on and then we were able to do that it was like wow yeah. okay God you're just providing but Literally on the 31st, we ended up getting um, two, two gifts that Major. enabled us to be able to actually pay in advance for this week. Yeah. And so as we're going, it's like, whoa, wait a minute, Lord. Like, we're not crashing, we're not falling, but we're just kind of sitting here. Mm -hmm. And all week, you know, sometimes you can't explain things except by the spirit it's almost like you just know like this mm -hmm. is where the lord has us and the best explanation is just wow god you've just you have been holding us here we're just suspended here yeah. you know there's can I, yeah can i say something just a logistical way of looking at it um we will stay here a week and then like every monday i go down and i make a payment because i'm trying to see what comes in and if i have to have a casting and that's video or something like that uh, but by the by monday which is the day you're watching this we go down to the front desk and we say okay well, we're going to make a payment and we make the payment for the week that we've already lived mm -hmm. so it's already on our bill that like this is how much we owe yeah. You know, it's very rare that we get money enough to say, here, I'm going to pay ahead. That's what we were able to do this past week. On Monday. And it was almost, I'm, I have to tell you what, guys, just listen to me. It was almost like that money that we got, it was like the final, here you go. It was like the final push. And it, and it pushed us off the water, mm -hmm. you know, because from that moment, from that moment to this day to this moment i think this whole week i think we've gotten just on my paypal alone two people mm -hmm. <laughs> two people <laughs> and it was less than a hundred dollars okay you you can't live on that you know what i'm saying you can't you can't do anything hardly with that you know what i'm saying i mean you can obviously you can um you know get things you know you, you prioritize no matter how much you get but then there were other things that came in like on cash app and venmo but it's literally like five or six people in one week that's like wow if this is not off the waterfall it was just another example of like mm -hmm. if this is not all suspended i don't know because it's like it's not like we were like oh my gosh we need money we need to make a video or something like that so we can make a payment because you don't want to be two weeks behind no. you know we've been there too um very recently actually but it's like this this past week that we've already lived and we're telling you about now is just that's what it was it was like we were just suspended we were we were upheld we were paid up we had food Mm -hmm. We, you know, we were able to just, you know, and it's just like, oh man, okay, this, this is, it just had that feeling to it. Mm -hmm. It had that vibe of like a layover or something, like something mm -hmm. different was happening, you know? Yeah. 
And so, so basically though, it was for, in, in the vision, it was just the briefest second. Now, mm -hmm. what a second is to the Lord in how that plays out in life, I don't know. But either way, it was just this brief moment in time until out pop the wings yeah and so you know we really are just in this place of like okay well we're it seems like that would be what comes next and um and so just continuing to trust him for what he has for us but it's been interesting because being able to go back you know like we said we got this vision um in october and october 11th and it really i mean as far as just from October 11th through the end of March, which is almost, it's basically like five and a half-ish months. Mm -hmm. um, that's really how it's been for us. I feel like, you know, as far as the waters and the turbulence and feeling like, oh my gosh, like are things just gonna fall? Like what's going on? Just that sense of you're at the edge, you're coming to the end of something yet god continually provided he continued to do what he's always done but you it's just that sense of like this is going to come to an end and so now we're in this position where it's like okay god i feel like we're suspended but it's kind of it's an interesting place to be in really mm -hmm. um because it's like okay well we're trusting you that these wings are gonna pop out and that whatever that is we'll see in life mm -hmm. as far as how that manifests itself um but that that's what's going to just allow us to keep going forward mm -hmm. and well it just reminds me again of uh 2017 before we moved to nashville we were in a position you know you gotta a long time ago this guy dean sherman he said you really want to know the lord you really want to see god move live your life in a way where he is the only answer and i was like well is that a choice you can decide whether to do that or not and naturally actually you can you can decide whether you're taking charge or whether god's in charge and you have to be led by the spirit there i could write in encyclopedias on how important that is but there you have the bible so um <laughs> but um in 2017 you know we we charted this journey that was our first year right mm -hmm. and at the end of the year they were like Devin we love you guys we love your family but you gotta you gotta pay us something and it's just like they got to the point where they're like we're gonna change the locks on the doors and they weren't even mad at us right mm -hmm. they're just legally we have to do something because it's been a couple months since you guys have paid anything and it's just like we're like i know and it's it's it there's a sense of shame there because it's like we're we're following the lord but mm -hmm. we're not paying rent and it's like oh gosh this is so embarrassing but it's like no don't be ashamed no Oh, there's not going to be shame mm -hmm. and it's like okay you even have to receive that by faith and sure enough i mean it was like what was it like when did we receive the money to come here was that on the 16th because yep. they were changing the locks on the 18th yep. on the 15th we were just like okie dokie you know what I mean? <laughs> on the 15th on the, we we're just like we have it was a it was a it was an it was a no oars in the boat moment right mm -hmm. we we're just like well either god's gonna come through or he isn't and sure enough he did he gave us enough money to come here from a lady that had only seen two of our videos mm -hmm. it, it was it was mind-blowing i was like wow i was like more money than we had seen apart from a you know a tax return or something mm -hmm. i was like did you give us your whole tax return or something and that, that's what brought us here and it started this nashville journey mm -hmm. that we've been on and now here we are we're literally literally live in action in this very moment mm -hmm. <laughs> like ready to see the lord do it again mm -hmm. provide again so but i think in this you know, at least for us and what I feel like the Lord has shown us is like, unlike before where we had to leave in haste and it was like a oh, leaving, yeah, departing Egypt. 
It's like, eat it quick. Don't work. Come on. Now. We got to get to going because they're still locking the doors on in two days, you know? But unlike that, for, for us here, it's more of like a release from Babylon, like that sense of like, okay, you can start journeying. You can go forward in pursuing everything that God has on our hearts to pursue. And that's Isaiah 52, 10, 11, and 12, mm -hmm. right? That's yeah. been with us the whole journey as a kind of a sign of like, this is what it's going to be like in the end. You won't have to leave in haste like you did before. Mm -hmm. That means there's going to be an again. So Yeah, which the Lord has been bringing up. We've, um, you know, kind of been sitting also with uh, Ezekiel chapter 16, mm -hmm. where it's talking about um, in verse 6 and 7 are about... Um, the Lord, like, I passed you um, by, but I told you to live. Mm -hmm. And then he comes by again when you're mature and at the time for love. And he washes you, thoroughly washes, anoints you with oil, and then has you prosper into royal estate. And mm -hmm. it's just been this sense. Verses 8 through 14, that's the prosper into yeah. royal estate part, you know? And so it's just kind of this, like, oh, this is that again time this is the uh, here i brought you out of egypt so to speak mm -hmm. you know i brought you out here and you've been in this wilderness time with me but i'm coming by you again i'm passing by again and this time though is to bring you home and to have you go forth into everything that i've promised to bring you into the garden mm -hmm. um and to establish and that really actually ties in to another piece that really has felt like since we went from March 31st and into this month mm -hmm. is um, a shift and a change. And part of that has been, um, for those who have been with us for a long time, we had three years of what was called the restoration play. Mm -hmm. And it went from April of 2020 through April of 2023 is when that restoration play finished. And then basically from this last April, so almost a year ago till now, it, it's been something like on my heart of just like, okay, God, what is this time then? Mm -hmm. You know, I know we're done with the restoration play, but it, it seems like there's more story. And always. <laughs> As, as far as just what God is doing in our hearts and our lives. And so I created a document that um, I titled Marriage Time. And I feel like the, the marriage time has parts to it as well, similar to the, the rest restoration play. Yeah. And so this last year has been titled Call of the Bridegroom. And literally, in April of last year, there was this moment where we really felt like, it's like, God, I, th I think he's taking us. We need to go to Chattanooga. And at the time, there was what was called the Messiah's Mansion, where they set up the actual like wilderness tabernacle and you mm -hmm. can go through and see it. And it was really fun to just be able to go and see that. But as we were doing that, we were getting all these scriptures about hey come up to the mountain like this is it was the call of the bridegroom mm. like come and meet with me well up there's here isaiah the 40 verse 9 and then matthew 25 mm -hmm. you know behold the bridegroom yeah yeah and so there's this beautiful picture of like hey here's the call of the bridegroom go out to meet him mm -hmm. and i just feel like from if we look from april of this last year to this year it really has been that there have been so many moments where it's just like this call of the bridegroom to go out and meet him and to just be with the lord to um dine with him i mean we can even see it r like with our son how god really just called him out <laughs> as mm -hmm. far as just doing the whole Bible bee and all of the things that he did with that and um, it's just been really awesome but there's just these continued moments mm -hmm. like throughout where it's just like God saying like hey come come meet with me come meet with me on the mountain like this is our time together we're 
we're we're dining together during this time yeah. but coming into this month i really felt like the title is shifting now to i'm coming home well can i say something yes. on that well because this whole messiah's mansion thing was perfectly timed because we were already into this uh vision of building the house of the lord and mm -hmm. and and it, it's it's a, it's a it's a vision of just you know owning multiple houses Mm -hmm. And not just for ourselves, not to just accumulate wealth or something like that, but they're part of a vision of helping other people excel mm -hmm. <laughs> at the at prophetic art. It's a big, huge vision, but it's at the same time it's very simple, mm -hmm. very simplistic, and it's going to take money and it's going to take homes. It's not going to take. We're not trying to buy a building. We're trying to keep this as like a home vision, family oriented. It's 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 all of that. So bottom line is it's going to take homes, and this is all that the Lord's leading us to do. It's a so it's a long journey. It's a year long. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so we're in the midst of that. And so being called to go to the Messiah's mansion because he was a, he was relating all the different parts and all the different homes and the different dwelling places that people will be living in to parts of the house of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and it was just really cool. And so, and we just went through so many different aspects of this hearing from the Lord and sitting with him at the conference table, the dream table, and him sharing with us his heart of what he wants to do here on earth. But he needs people of faith to receive it and believe for it here on earth. And that's what he's sharing with us. He's like, this is your section. This is your part of the vision. Mm -hmm. This is what I want you guys to do. This is what I want you to believe for. This is what I want you to hold fast. Mm -hmm. This is your crown. Don't let anyone steal it. This is for you. This is what I'm going to do through you. This is what I'm going to have you build the house of God mm -hmm. here on earth in this way. You know? And so... It, but then the Lord, toward the end... The Lord began to focus. He, it's like he came full circle back to us as a family and the home we're going to live in. It's like, let's talk about you. And this. and so that's why this transition to I'm coming home is such an important. Yeah. Because that's where we're, that's where we're going first. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, but with that is the, the picture of how a bridegroom, when he, his home was ready, he would go to the bride's house and pick her up and she would get put in a leader box and would be carried with the the bridegroom in front leading the way Man. and she's brought to her new home mm -hmm. and then that's where the marriage feast takes place that's where the celebration takes place all of that begins happening but there's a journey from her home to his home and all of this has so many visions and dreams and communications from the lord too much to get into yeah that all attached to literally what you just said i mean that's like a that's a bouquet of visions and dreams all rolled into one idea yeah right and so i really feel like as we entered into this new month of april that the word is is speaking to that I'm coming home. It's now time to begin this journey of going home. Um, and it's funny because in so much, so many ways, it begins, it, it starts in the heart. <laughs> you know, God, uh, this whole journey, it's it's been so much a heart journey. And I feel like this last week, it was, God is preparing, as he always is, he prepares, mm -hmm. strengthens, and directs our hearts for what he's going to be doing. Psalm 10, and <laughs> particularly for me, I mean, I think all of us have had our... Did you seriously just <laughs> say that at 1017? 10, 10, <laughs> Did awesome. you seriously just say that at 1017? I was like, oh yeah, that's Psalm 1017. We see that all the time. And I just turned and... 1017. Bro, take it and use it for what you will. <laughs> but, wow. But this, 
<laughs> yes, so he strengthens our hearts, and I know like... That's the Lord saying amen. <laughs> it, it has been interesting, too, <clears throat> it, wow. is that during this time we've been suspended, I feel like God, it's almost like, okay, now let's pull up anchors. And I had mm -hmm. this, um, and that's what I saw. I was oh, this praying. Oh, this past week as yeah. well, yeah. So I was praying one night, and I was just seeing these anchors getting pulled up. And and I, and and then it just kind of continued throughout the week. Things with that'll weigh your boat the, down. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel like God was like, there are certain things that he's had that have helped anchor us into position. Mm -hmm. And that's the position we've been in throughout this whole journey. There's, he's, whether it's to develop your character, to um, just keep you in a, a, a position where it's like, you know, he's anchoring us to the vision he has for us, those types of things. Mm -hmm. But I feel like as we came off, the Lord's like, okay, we need to drop these anchors or, you know, I guess Let these pull them up go. or however yeah. it works. <laughs> release the boats. weight. Yeah, basically. release the weight because he's like, I want you to be able to go freely with me. And mm -hmm. for me, I feel like there's so many different anchors that God was, has just been like, hey, let's bring this up. Let's bring that up. Like, we're these some of them it's it's like a casting the anchor away i don't need it anymore um and even just like little things of oh so much of it is how you think or view something yeah like what's... and god brings in just a different way of thinking of it and and one of it one of the ways for me with the finances in particular it was like there's one day where I think there's like three different examples of just these small minor things that God was mm -hmm. showing me, but it added up to so much and it was really freeing my heart. And, and part of it was just how I view money. A lot of times um, I've viewed money as like, when you spend it, it's a negative thing. You know, even if you're getting something that you need or want, it's like, it's There's, still irresponsible. It's like an irresponsible kind of thing, it's even like, though you, it's like you want to be responsible and, you know, you've got to pay your bills. Like I, I can, those types of things I don't have issues with, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's like, well, of course you have to, you know, but anything outside of maybe like absolute barrel of the bottom needs, it's like barrel of the bottom. Bottom of the barrel. <laughs> See, even that's backward thinking. No. Barrel of the bottom. Um, oh, that's cool. That it's like. Yeah, I mean, you have a hard don't time. Go there. It's like you don't want to even do what you want. But it's like, even if you need, it's just like, well, I need conditioner. And I'm like, well, babe, why don't you say you need you need conditioner for your hair? But I, you know, I, and I'm like, that is a need. That yeah. is an actual need. You're American. That's a need, dude. So, <laughs> you need to, so it's just like, it's things it's like conditioner, that. conditioner, bro. Come on. But, but I that, just, that's an anchored yeah. Thought, meaning it's really more of a subconscious thing. Yeah. It's just a natural way that you kind of go. You always respect that thing, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And that can be an anchor thought in yeah. your in your heart. Yeah. But it's going to hold you back hold if you back. God's yeah. like, I want to give you wings to fly. And isn't that what it did? Yeah. It held you back from getting conditioner <laughs> or wanting to get your hair cut yeah. or something like that. But getting my hair cut, that's like, that's like this much money. And it's like, Girl, you need what you want to do. You want to be uh, end up looking like Medusa. I'm gonna be Rapunzel. You gonna be Rapunzel? That's a better example. Yes. Medusa was terrible. <laughs> wow. Th let's edit that from the video. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but but it was just like God kind of just was showing me really, and and it was really cool because we ended up talking about it for quite a while. But just why why I was viewing things the way that I did. Um, Kind of where that was coming from but kind of brought me to this point of just like you know what no i like lord i don't need that anchor anymore and one of the things was just this idea of like god saying like no when i have you 
doing things, it's it's more it's an investment. You have to see it as mm. you are investing, you know, into lives being changed. You're investing into the kingdom, uh, of, the God. kingdom of God. God's heart's desires being fulfilled because you were you believed enough to be obedient to do something crazy yeah. and to God he was like it's not crazy it's only crazy to you people you yeah. know what I'm saying it's like up here in the kingdom they're like yeah yeah why wouldn't you do that you yeah. know? <laughs> so I just thought it was just really awesome there was more examples as far as with yeah. the, the finances but it ended up just being a really free moment for me and I feel like throughout this whole week there's just been a lot of weights lifted um i mean honestly at the beginning of this last week i was dealing with a lot of discouragement with the time frame being kind of a spark and igniter of it yeah there's been some intense moments but it was just like this deep discouragement which i also felt like it ultimately it was i believe it also an attack from the enemy that definitely Mm -hmm. just kind of came in but it was really awesome to see how god really actually he used um what what is his name vlad Oh, Savchuk or something like that? Something like that. He actually came out with a video about, like, are you unusually discouraged? And it was so good. Highly recommend it. Um, If you are discouraged. (laughs) I'll define it and try to link it. Try and link it. (laughs) But, um, (laughs) but, But for God to just, I don't know, he was really kind of opening me up to just see some things differently and to work through the discouragement and come out on the other side. I think, you know, he's like the, what the enemy meant for evil. God's like, I'm turning it for your good because I'm going to have you go through this discouragement, but you're going to come out on the other side, actually strengthened by the fact that you went through it. And, um, and then just being able to continue to, um, throughout the whole week I was just like wow God you are really just doing a lot for myself in pulling up anchors making some changes Mm -hmm. and they're all great like yes some of them it's like a lot to work through Mm -hmm. but it's like this is so good (laughs) God it's so good and you come to the end of it And it's like, oh, God is really preparing us to be able to go forward without hindrances. You know, it's, which is what he talks about even, Mm -hmm. you know, in Isaiah 52, where it's like, depart, you know, leave Babylon, leave all those things behind and go forward into the new, carrying really you know, in that case, they were carrying the vessels for the temple of the Lord. For the and, house of the Lord. And it's like, what what are we carrying out of this is all the dreams and visions and everything God has stored in our hearts. And he's like, yeah, for all that other stuff, Lord. <laughs> you can leap behind. Yeah. So that's kind of the coming home aspect of it. Just that sense that God's like, hey, you're going to be journeying home. But in order to do that, he's like, I'm preparing you to get ready to begin the journey to come home. And and again, it's, I don't know, I am excited to see mm-hmm. where the Lord continues to take us, what he's going to be doing. Um, and it's just, sometimes, you know, you have those moments where you feel like you've lived like a month and a week. And I feel like when this week was kind of like that, Mm -hmm. it was just, there was, there was so much that the Lord has been doing and in such a deep way, which actually reminds me (laughs) of, Mm -hmm. um, again, like we, with, uh, Kay Nash, her calendar for the month of April, she had given a word about, you know, going deeper with the Lord and oh, Daniel 2.22 and he's going to show you the deep and hidden things mm-hmm. and I have just That's been experiencing that and I'm like wow God sure. you are we're suspended really 
and then we're Digging. going deeper into the Lord, you know? Well, and that's actually one of the things with the idea of the boat here, right? Well, if you're coming off the water, maybe the water is only, you know, 10, 10 feet deep, but you come off, you're coming off and you're over a cliff, that cliff, you know, or like that now you're space way high up. could yeah. be, you know, a hundred feet deep. And, but it, God really has, I mean, I feel like, God, you are just digging deep and mm -hmm. going and taking us to deep places in our hearts. Um, Be stirring up deep, deep yeah. wells. <laughs> stirring up deep, deep waters. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and so I just thought that was also really cool because, you know, I just, I love it when God can just confirm, like, even with other people you know words that they're hearing from the lord over times and seasons and god's like yes this is what i'm doing and it can look different in everybody's life but you know in different people's lives like mm -hmm. what going deep with the lord looks like but i can definitely say like that has applied to us for sure just as last month was all about resting uh with the lord. resting and marching yeah 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 and so it's just like okay well and i th can i yeah and i definitely think april has definitely turned out to be it's clearly started out as a new beginning there are so many new beginning bookmarks mm -hmm. that have happened just this past week and i'm like wow so i'm like is this what you meant by coming out like a lion i was <laughs> i was just uh because sometimes you know when you hear stuff from the lord you really are looking to see well how's it going to work out mm -hmm. in real life and of course you want to see you know something amazing i guess <laughs> you know but it's like you got to just look to see what the lord's going to do and what he's going to be doing and god's done so many cool things that we can't really get into in all this whole video but um just so many cool things you know well and i do think that you know the lord was roaring startings of things you know? yeah he's roaring his truth and the oh, truth sets you one. free that was a good and one. so it's like even with that the idea a huge one the roaring of the truth that was a big yeah. deal actually <laughs> but even like the idea of the waterfall a waterfall has a very loud roar to it mm -hmm. and it's like hey in like a lamb out like a lion it's like this waterfall this roar yeah that's what you're getting ready to go over as you come into you're getting over that <laughs> into a new time with with the lord yeah and so that's basically what for us this this last week which in yes. so many ways feels like a month <laughs> so if you could see us in the spirit we're a boat suspended in the middle of, of the air just there not falling and just before wings pop out we'll see how that turns out like what that looks like mm -hmm. you know and so yeah we will see yes but yeah, so that's what we have to share with you guys for yeah. this week, um, and that's, that's this. That's our episode. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're like a TV show, minus but we just the talk it. Minus the showing. Yeah, exactly. We're a TV tell. Yeah, we're a <laughs> we're a <tella>. television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we tell the vision. Yeah, that's exactly you know? what we did tonight. <laughs> but see, I believe we're getting ready to go into showtime. Mm -hmm. Come on now, it's showtime. Yeah. Time to go to the next level. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And uh, from dreaming to living. You know, so we'll see. I'm just, we're, I'm just still very excited to see what the Lord's going to do. Okay, I'm done. Are you? <laughs> you better pray. No, All right. No, but I do want to close this in prayer. And um, so, Father, we just come to you and we just thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness to us. Lord, I pray that... Um, Lord, that just in this time, I just believe we're in a time of transition, Father, that that your people, we would just be drawn closer to you, Lord, that you would dive deep into the hearts of your people, Lord, that you would um, reveal yourself as King and Lord over their life, that you would, um, 
don't know, I'm just seeing a vision basically mm. of like a, a flower like that begins to bloom. And like if you've ever seen it in slow motion, it's just like they start to, it's like they just move and it's like they come alive and just open up. And so um, I just believe that's what God wants to do in our hearts. It's like he's going to start to blossom and bloom in our hearts in a new way where it's like he just it's going to be this constant movement and mo and and motion where then he's just going to come forth and it's going to his beauty is going to be displayed upon our lives. And so, Father, we just um, pray for that. Um, we just thank you that you want to display yourself as just beautiful in our lives that you have a sweet fragrance that you want to have spread across our lives and um be in our hearts lord and um i just pray that your people would know you as sweet as good as kind mm -hmm. lord um as a place where the flower like there's the flourishing, Lord, that there is just that coming forth, the bursting forth of your heart um, for your people, that it would be within us, that we would know um, how good you are to us and that there would just be that sweet fragrance of you that surrounds us, Lord. Um, and that, yes, Lord, that it would just, this would be the time of blooming and blossoming like mm -hmm. flowers it's kind of i think like is it song of solomon that talks about like the the spring and just like that yeah song of solomon too yeah winter's passed yes. and the time for singing has come and yes birds and blossoms and yes love stuff exactly <laughs> so lord i pray that that would come forth um where it is the time to just awaken love. It is time to awaken our hearts to mm. the newness of who you are for um, just that time of, I guess just like, it's like a romance time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, that he, Lord, I pray you would just begin to romance our hearts. That you would, hearts again. Um, yes, that you would come forward and just great joy and delight and that you would come for your people to mm. bring us into to go before us and bring us into uh, the homes that you have for us the places that you have for us um, and that there would just be just a sweetness Lord um, and a newness of life. I'm just reminded there is a, I did a study on the book of Ruth in one oh, of the yeah. pictures it has Jesus, you know, or the bridegroom and they would dress like a king would, but part of it is like they would even have their own like floral flowers because they were, it's that sweet smelling. Mm -hmm. And it's, I don't know, just this sense of like, the Lord coming and because he's drawing near we're smelling his fragrance we're seeing the beauty of the Lord mm. um, and it's just growing oh, this is awesome and it's just growing in our hearts yeah um, and it's just coming forth like spring like if you were to watch like a time-lapse video of mm -hmm. flowers that just start blossoming in in spring um, and they come into the fullness of their beauty mm -hmm. and so that's just kind of what I'm seeing as I'm praying and so um, so yes Lord we say come come and receive your people come and receive the rent the remnant lord that you would bring us out carry us forth with joy with peace with delight with singing with gladness upon our hearts and upon our tongues lord and that we might go forth in joyous celebration because you have come and we say come king come Mm -hmm. That was something we had even this week. It was yeah, like, it was a huge one. Come, King, come and receive your people, receive your bride, and let us go forth into the, just that kind of like the marriage supper of the Lamb, but in the sense of mm -hmm. co going forth and receiving the word that you have spoken to our hearts. 
and um, we just I just pray showers of blessing upon your people mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. that there would be a returning of uh, the returning of the strength of the land and that there would be a returning to the newness of life refreshing and restoration upon your people in the name of Jesus amen that's hilarious you basically prayed so many of the things we could have shared and made videos on <laughs> some of the other stuff that the Lord was doing and working mm -hmm. over this past week that we're like well we're not that's not going to make it into the video you, you, but basically you prayed the heart of like three or four different days mm -hmm. in that prayer about returning to the lord and awakening love and all of this stuff it's like wow that just all came out that's awesome praise the lord yes it gets in there one way or another it does so yeah <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we love you and we do yep. pray blessing upon you. And until next time, we will see you later. It's going to be a doozy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>